Greetings everyone. Good afternoon or whatever time it is for you. We have a drizzly day here in Virginia, which the gardens are loving, creating some nice moisture and water for our beautiful flowers that are blooming everywhere. Today I wanted to share with you something that I recently learned, a simple, quick technique that I learned as a part of a HeartMath Institute training program that I'm currently participating in. And I think it's really practical because in any course of the day, as we know that we're going to be having experiences that are both positive and negative. And we can fuel either of those kinds of attitudes that come up based on our responses to things that happen. Some things happen that are in fact frustrating, disappointing, sad. Other things happen that we're very happy about. So we can either reinforce positive attitudes or if we're having a negative attitude and there's nothing wrong with that, there is a purpose to negative energies. It can show us that something needs attention. Something needs to be changed. Communication may be needed, any of those things. But in order to do that effectively, best to do it from a place of balance in your own heart and mind. And that part is where we have some focus. We can bring focus to that once we recognize that we're having those negative energies. If we choose to fuel those and go over it and over it, that's depleting and that's going to exhaust us. We're the ones that suffer from that and we won't be as effective dealing with whatever it is that caused the negative feelings. So I think these techniques are helpful and I find it really practical. This one is called attitude breathing, which is very simple because it can be done on the go and it doesn't require sitting with your eyes closed. You can do it sitting in a traffic light if you're simply frustrated by being in a traffic jam or you've just gotten a message from somebody that left you feeling angry, frustrated, hurt, disappointed, any of those things. So we can certainly first recognize what's going on. Okay, how can I shift this? And then I'll deal with it. So we simply begin by bringing our attention to the heart area. So we just bring our attention to the heart very easily. You can close your eyes, but you don't have to close your eyes. You can just be aware of your breathing and breathe as if you're breathing in and out through your heart and you breathe slightly more slowly and deeply. So maybe you breathe in to the count of four or five, and then slowly breathe out to the count of four or five. And this is where you begin to calm down a bit and then bring in the opposite of what you would like to shift. For instance, if you're feeling frustrated, you might wanna simply bring in patience calm, ease, let go. I'm willing to relax and let go. I'm willing to forgive, I'm willing to be patient. I'm willing to give this time, slow down. But as you're bringing in patience and what that feels like, what it feels like to feel at ease, you're allowing your attention to be moving gracefully slowly, easily, with no effort whatsoever, but just a little more slowly, without forcing, in and out through the heart. In just a few minutes, three to four minutes, five minutes, is enough, I find, to become more settled and come to a state of peace and inner balance. And then that creates greater clarity of mind so that if I need to communicate, respond, take some actions, it's clear to me how to go about that in the most harmonious way to have the most positive outcome for me in this situation. So I've started using this all the time. If you're feeling you have to give a presentation or you're nervous or you could simply Okay, what's the opposite of that? You want to bring in a competent attitude. Attitude of trust, trusting in yourself, 
that you have what it takes to get the job done. If you're feeling confused, attitude of clarity. If you're feeling some discord, you can bring in an attitude of peace. And this can be done at any time throughout the day, anywhere you are. You could be sitting with family members. You could be taking a walk. You could be just watching the news and feeling riled up about what you're reading in the news. That's the time to take a deep breath. There's no need to let these things deplete us. Instead, we can use them to bring more awareness and more balance to ourselves. There's great value here. It's a gift we give to ourselves, and this is a form of self-care, actually. It's a way to be kind and loving and compassionate with ourselves. We are not at the mercy of everything that happens around us. We don't have to be unless we allow that. We can work with it and do it from a place of strength, inner strength. And this is how we build a resilient heart. This is what resilience is, being able to bounce back, to reset and come back with greater strength and clarity than when we started. And that we can create within ourselves. And this is how we become co-creators with life because life is going to provide plenty of opportunities every single day. Plenty of opportunities. We could call them learning opportunities if we choose. That's positive attitude. There's a lot of negative things we could say about that, but that's up to you. How do you feel when you think those thoughts? That's really up to you. Do you want to keep feeling that way? Okay, fine. I don't find that very pleasant. I find it difficult to live with myself if I churn and keep going with negative stories and um, over and over things. I'd rather shift it because I, I prefer to feel peaceful, happy, and then I could create from that place. I can get more done, all the things that I want to do. I'm able to notice the joys and the beauty around me if I'm not in that cloud of negativity. So it's really up to you, but I love these sorts of techniques because it makes it easy for us. And it doesn't take a lot of strain. You don't have to go and hide yourself away for an hour. In or Maybe you need more time. It's up to you if you have time. Great. If most of us don't. So therefore, take a few minutes and try the attitude breathing. Here's an attitude I can shift because that's certainly not doing me any good. And is it going to do the other person any good or the situation? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. So can easily be shifted. And that is within your power. So you can empower yourself by making that choice. We're always a choice after all. Always, every day. So that's really it. So this is just a quick little um, boost, little booster technique that you can take with you and use however you wish, however it is most helpful for you. And May you enjoy the beauties and joys of this day. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the tastes, the company you're with, and the love that it brings you. Thank you for listening.